Boardman Drama Guild is known for putting on spectacular productions in an incredible theater that attracts tons of people throughout the community and even some people from out of town. The drama club has always been ambitious, even going as far as traveling to New York City to film the opening sequence of Carousel. The club means a lot to many students at Boardman High School, and I got a chance to interview a few of them to ask them how they felt about the program. Drama club means to me family, friendship, and performing arts. And drama club means um, friends and getting to do what I love. Drama club means not only a career for me, but it means a place where I feel comfortable, a place where I can have fun and uh, showcase everyone's talents. The drama club means to me that uh, it's just a big family. Like, Everyone has connections to each other, everyone loves each other, everyone cares about each other. You know, there's, yeah, there's like times where it's like, ooh, I don't like you, but, you know, it's, it always ends up like this at the end of the time, you know? It's, it's good. It's fun. It means love to me. Drama club to me, it means honestly everything. It's, uh, one of the greatest things that you can be a part of. Uh, I started when I was 12 years old, uh, when I did Tarzan here at the high school, and I've been loved with it ever since. It's, uh, it's been my life. It's just a giant family. It sounds very generic and cheesy, but honestly, it's the best friends I ever have made. Going into high school, I was terrified that like people wouldn't like me or I wouldn't know what to do or who to talk to, but once I got to drama club, I felt like home and I just knew everybody and it was just like a relaxing feeling and just pure love for everyone. To me, drama club means being with your, your friends and working together for something that's way bigger than any of you could imagine. And the very concept of coming together and putting the show together with your friends and these people who are basically your family is absolutely amazing. I think my favorite part of drama would definitely be the family aspect. I love the performing, but the bonds you kind of create are just rise above everything else. My favorite part about Drama Club is getting to do something that I'm so passionate about with other people that are equally as passionate. My favorite Drama Club memory, well, I'd have to say it would be the, uh, the Triscuit Wars. Now, um, the Triscuit Wars, someone, I, I won't say who, had a big affliction for Triscuit, and uh, someone else, I won't say who, uh, stole the other person's Triscuit. So um, all the guys got together around the person who liked the Triscuits and ran around the school chasing the guy who took the Triscuits. And it was like a half hour of just running around, screaming, using the fake switchblades to interrogate other people. It was just a whole lot of fun. My favorite memory of Drama Club was just after the last West Side Story show and all the seniors stood in the line and while Mrs. Dimitri was calling our names and I was just so proud to be standing up there with that group. And I looked out into the audience and I saw my dad and he pointed at me and I pointed at him and I was like, dude, it, um, I made it. And it's, it's just, it was fantastic to be there. My favorite memory is when I was doing a scene and I was waiting for my cue and somebody moved a set piece toward me so I backed up and my leg got stuck in a ladder and I couldn't make my cue and so I was supposed to be speaking and I was trying to rip my leg out of a ladder and when I finally was able to run on stage I hear this bellowing voice from the audience because this was a dress rehearsal and like where were you and I, and I was like my leg got stuck in a ladder and around dress rehearsal time things are really really tense and you just heard every person in the pit and every person backstage and all the directors and the choreographers just laughing so hard and it just really broke the tension and I got a sign made in the pit that said my leg got stuck in a ladder. <laughs> it's probably opening night like standing backstage with everyone and it's dark and like, getting excited and everyone's just like looking around like waiting for it to start. That's cool. <laughs> a life lesson that I learned is no matter how good you may think you are, never believe that you're entitled to anything, I believe. Basically, just always keep working at it. Like, even if you think you're, like, incredible, or, like, even if you, like, get a lead role or anything, just keep working, keep working at it, just always try hard. My favorite dramatical memory would be my sophomore year when we performed Annie Get Your Gun. Um, 
I didn't have a partner for the beginning of the show, and I kept telling Nick, I'm like, hey, I don't have a partner, and he's like, we'll figure it out, don't worry about it, and it was show night, and I'm like, Nick, I still don't have this partner, and he's like, you just go out there, we'll figure it out, I'm like, I'm gonna look so dumb, and who did I see come out in a flannel and cowboy hat but Nick Pritza to dance with me, and it was a really great experience. The very first time I saw the bright lights, I would say it was electric, but blinding. Um, well, obviously, uh, the first performance was nerve-wracking, but it was also like exhilarating. The first time I stepped on stage was as Frank Butler in the show Annie Get Your Gun. And the lights came on, and I was the only thing on stage. There was in the set or anything, the curtain was down, I was just leaning up against the side of the stage, and I had to start the show a cappella, just sing. And I didn't have a starting note, because um, Mr. Amendol hit his face on one of the drop bars, so he wasn't better to start the show. So I just had to start singing, and um, I sang the first part of the show a cappella, and then the band came in, and it was, it was just awesome. I was so nervous and I just eased into it as the song went on and you know, I haven't been nervous to go on stage since. A life lesson I've learned from Nico Pritza is do not look. And that, that can be applied to dancing but also anything in life. It's do not look at what other people are doing because when you look at what other people are doing, you're always one beat behind, one move behind everybody else. And if you're looking, you're right where you need to be. A life lesson that I've learned from Drama Club is that when you get a group of people together with such dedication and mindset, you can do anything. And performing the shows that we did, um, like Borman, Borman Drama has done shows like recently Nevermore, Man of La Mancha, West Side Story, They're all difficult shows, but we're so dedicated, so passionate about it. And it all just comes together and you see it come together, you watch it come together and it's just, it's, it's amazing. Everyone in the show is important. One person not doing what they're supposed to do or not trying can ruin the whole thing and I think that applies to more than just the show, more than just any drama production, it applies to real life too and I'm thankful that Nick taught us that lesson. Drama Club means to me just an environment where you can have fun, you can enjoy yourself, you can just be yourself. This group of people that I've worked with in Drama Club has really shaped me and who I am. Um, they've taught, they've given me that sense of community, that sense of family among friends that I've never really had before. And I overall, I feel like a better person. And um, I find it easier to work with people now. I know how to, you know, be a team player, be a leader. And I've learned that mainly from doing drama. Um, I know this has probably been said a million times, and it is really cheesy. And when I first started drama, I didn't believe it, but family and you don't really expect to because there's obviously going to be people that you're not close to in drama club because it's a big club but you get really close to them and they start to they start to really feel like your second family 